everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be sitting down and doing another YouTube help type of video. I have two on my channel so far. One, how to land paid brand deals as a small influencer and two, what I got paid for my first YouTube paid check once getting monetized at four months into the game. So I really love helping out smaller influencers. I've already started doing um, custom media kits and custom pitches for smaller influencers who need help to land those paid brand deals. When I got this video idea from another subscriber of mine who suggested it, I absolutely loved it and was like, yes, I'm gonna put that on my channel because I think it's really important to have tools and get as much help as you can before starting your channel. So you're already starting off on the right foot. If you are new to my channel, I would absolutely love if you would hit that subscribe button down below. It really means a lot to me when you do that and helps out my channel, of course. Uh, like, comment, share, all that good stuff, and let's go ahead and tell you guys my five things that I wish I would have known before starting my YouTube channel. <laughs> is it's harder to gain the first 100 subscribers than it is the first 1,000. And the reason being is when I first started my channel, I thought, okay, I have about 1,000 followers on Instagram. They're automatically all gonna follow me. Not the case. And a very sad reality that, why is it that I have 1,000 people who follow me and they don't care about my YouTube channel? They don't care about my my dreams are like what I'm trying to, to do here. Why is it that they won't hit the subscribe button? And I remember the day I launched my YouTube channel, I honestly thought that I was gonna have instantly a thousand. And I don't think I got 20 in the first day after announcing it. And that was announcing on Instagram and Facebook where all my family and all my friends were. And it really confused me and it really put me from day one in like, kind of a bad vibe type of area because I thought, well, what the heck? I thought people would be excited for me. I thought people would, you know, want to see what I have to say because it seems on Instagram that people are always telling me like, oh, you have what it takes to be an influencer or a YouTuber, you should do it. And then I do it and no one subscribes <laughs> to my channel. This is my thought process behind it. It's very sad. Um, I think a lot of people are jealous. I think, you know, as a female especially, when you try to do something like this, um, you have a lot of petty girls out there who know you from high school or wherever, work, stuff, and see that you're trying to to do this, and they, they laugh, and they want to see you fail, um, because that's just sometimes how girls are. And so I think a lot of people are just kind of mean and petty, <clears throat> and that's why they don't subscribe. They might watch all your videos secretly, but they will not subscribe to your channel. And I honestly think that is a huge part of it. So yeah, that's kind of a sad reality, and I think I'm pretty correct on that. Um, the second thing is you have the audience that has no idea what that means to subscribe, or they don't watch YouTube, so they really don't understand the platform. And that's why I always tell people, you have to constantly tell people what you want them to do. They're not automatically going to subscribe. They're not automatically going to comment on your videos. They're not automatically going to hit the thumbs up button. People don't realize that all of those engagements help your channel grow. So you have to tell people what you want them to do. Every time you upload a video, tell them, subscribe, 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 comment, 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 like, like, like. You have to tell them what you want. Um, so I think that's another reason why people don't subscribe. Um, so yeah, the first 100 is very hard to get. And when you hit that first 100, you should celebrate because it's an awesome milestone to hit. Be grateful for every single person that subscribes to your channel. Stay humble and it just know that it takes time. This is the thing you also have to remember. When you look down at somebody's subscriber number and you see, let's say, 300 or 3,000, you're gonna automatically, just from that number, does not matter their quality content. When you look at that number, who are you more likely to hit subscribe to? The person with 300 subscribers who like you don't really know or trust or like you're not sure if they're gonna make it, or the 3,000 where you're like, wow, they, they got a following, like they have to be good because of that number. That's in people's heads too, so you just kinda gotta take it with a grain of salt, all of that, and just 
be patient um, but I feel like once you hit your thousand it goes up from there quickly because people trust your content because you already have a good subscriber number it's all a number games you guys it's all a number game which leads me to the second thing I wish I would have known before starting YouTube is getting monetized does not mean you are gonna be making big bucks I think everyone has a perception in that huge, huge goal is I just want to be monetized. I just want to get monetized because once I get monetized, everything's going to be perfect. And that is a very, very sad, 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 um, not reality thing. When you get monetized, you are making like pennies on the dollar, okay? You are not making much at all because if your videos are not getting a lot of views, there's not a lot of ads on your video, which in return means that you aren't getting um, a lot of money. I will be completely transparent with you guys and tell you like what I make. Um, last month in the month of June, um, my June summary of how much I made for my ads was $185. So that just goes to show you at um, 4,000 subscribers-ish, uh, that's how much I made. Not a lot. Am I happy and grateful that I at least have that? That's awesome because then it goes into, you know, an account with my other um, forms of revenue. But still, 180 bucks a month on average is not that lot. It's not a lot of money at 4,000 subscribers. So you just have to realize and be honest with yourself in knowing that you are not going to be making a lot of money once you get monetized is it something to celebrate and it's a great milestone absolutely it's super exciting when you hit that thousand subscribers and your watch hour of four thousand watch hours it's so exciting and it's you should celebrate but just know it's not a lot of money at first okay so just be prepared for that so the third thing that i wish i would have known before starting youtube is how time consuming it is I thought I knew how time consuming it was gonna be, and I was wrong. <laughs> it's a lot more than I had expected. Because if you really think about it, it's not just the filming, it's not just the editing, it's not just the Instagram, which Instagram is a whole other social media platform in itself that has that that takes so much time behind it between Instagram stories and posting and trying to get right with the algorithm and like it's a whole that's a whole job in itself then you have to take into account the planning because these videos aren't just like on a whim that I'm like I wake up and go I'm gonna make this video today no like I have a whole month of videos planned out so it takes time and effort and thought process and sometimes shopping behind it and it is so much and as a mom of two like I feel strapped with time as it is and so every free moment I have I'm doing this like I'm doing everything for YouTube and Instagram and so then with that comes the mom guilt of oh my gosh my daughter's like playing in a room by herself right now and I'm filming and uh, I probably should be playing with her and then I feel bad and then I get into an anxiety funk that I'm feeling as a mom and I'm feeling as a wife and my house needs to be cleaned and you know what I'm saying so it can be extremely exhausting and sometimes I feel like the only time I have is at the end of the night and then I don't get to spend time with my husband so it's a lot so I guess I wish I would have been a little bit more prepared and kind of started off with a good strict schedule for myself to keep my anxiety at a minimum and you know have like good amounts of time set aside for this but i'm still learning and i obviously could start tomorrow with a new schedule but for me it's sometimes like i need a fresh start I, I guess i don't know what i'm trying to say but i'm just saying be prepared for how time consuming it is and i would say even before you start your channel like really schedule out time for yourself to work and then put your phone down and don't and that's something that i struggle with extremely bad is because i feel like i have to respond to people right away or else they're gonna like not do a brand deal with me or not want to collaborate or you know what i'm saying so i feel like i always have to have my phone in my hand and answer people and that's not true and i'm gonna start doing this like today is put my phone in my bedroom and shut the door and have time with my kids time with my family my cleaning time um and that's it i'm not going to answer any emails or dms or anything like that and then i'll have my scheduled time for work so i'm still learning but that's something i really wish i would have been more prepared about is how time consuming 
Okay, the fourth thing that I wish I would have known before starting my YouTube channel, and this is like a really big one, like I wanna put a lot of emphasis on this, is how important it is to connect with other influencers and YouTubers and bloggers and like, you need to get yourself out there badly. That is how you are going to grow faster. Making connections with other influencers who are in your niche is going to help you grow. The reason why is because when you collaborate with another person in your niche on your YouTube channel, you are now being exposed to all of their subscribers. So when she shouts you out in her video, like, hey, follow Kiki, she has great style, she's a mama too, da 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 da. Now all her subscribers who watch her video are gonna head over to your channel and hopefully subscribe. And then same goes for that girl. You shout her out, now all your subscribers are going to her channel. That is how you will gain subscribers. Um, not super, super fast, depends on who you're collaborating with. So obviously you really wanna aim for people um, higher than you, but it's also good to collaborate with people lower than you too in the number game because doesn't matter numbers are numbers so it doesn't matter it's collaborating also support this is where I feel like I have such a great support system of other influencers and youtubers who I talk with on a daily basis we're constantly supporting each other giving each other ideas helping each other out when we have questions it has been a game changer and I'm so grateful for everyone who is a part of my little circle here um, honestly I'm in love with all of you girls you're amazing I hope to meet you in person one day you know who you are I just feel like I have some really great friends here in the YouTube community and it has really helped me grow on YouTube. It's just been really wonderful. So I would highly, highly suggest, I was doing this from day one, honestly. I was reaching out to girls who had way higher numbers than me. I would just DM them and say, I absolutely love your videos. You have an awesome Instagram feed. Like, I would love to collaborate with you or I would love to chat with you and like, you know, go back and forth with ideas and everyone who I've reached out to, I'm not going to say everyone, a large amount of people who I was reaching out to with very small subscriber numbers were so sweet, were so kind and so willing to want to talk to me and that just really um, helped me in the beginning of my YouTube journey to have confidence and aim high baby, aim high. Confidence is what is going to make you grow fast here on YouTube, I can promise you that. And the last thing that I wish I would have known kind of goes hand in hand with um, you're not going to make a lot of money on YouTube at first once you get monetized. And that is one viral video is not going to make you famous. So I guess I was under the impression that like if you have a viral video and you gain X amount of subscribers and thousands of subscribers from one video, like they're going to watch all your videos. <laughs> You guys, that's, it's really sad and it's not true. And that's why I always wonder, I'm like, okay, I'm almost to 5,000 subscribers, like, so exciting. Why is it that almost 5,000 people subscribe to me, but some videos only have 300 views? Like, why aren't you watching my video, but you're subscribed to me? It doesn't make sense. So I have had at this point, I want to say maybe like, four five videos that have really really good views um my one video has almost 50,000 views on it um you know others are in the 30,000 20,000 range which is so exciting and really really cool but that's it and then all my other videos are like wah, wah, wah. I mean it is what it is I mean I'm happy with whatever it's great but it's very confusing. So don't think once you have one viral video that that's it for you because I still feel like I have to hustle, 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 hustle and try, try, try and you'll have one viral video and then five that just tank. And when I mean tank, I don't mean that like, okay, well if I only have 300 views and I'm happy about that, oh my gosh, it, you know, I don't wanna make you feel bad at all. I mean for me and my channel personally, when I have a video that only has 300 views, I feel like that was a tanker and didn't do well and didn't perform well. So don't take that personally if you're like, what a brat, like I'm excited about 300. I'm sorry, I hope it did not come off that way, I'm just talking about me personally. Um, 
but then you'll have another one and then seven that didn't do well and that has to go a lot of it has to do with the algorithm which that's another thing that should be number six is you will never understand the algorithm and if someone says I do they're lying the algorithm with YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and every social media platform is always changing you have no idea it can literally drive you absolutely crazy if you're trying to figure out the algorithm and it really has a lot to do with like where YouTube places you so I've just learned that I'm never gonna <laughs> figure it out I'm never gonna understand the algorithm and just do my best and one day hopefully it pays off and it'll work but anyway um, what I was trying to say is one viral video it's not gonna make you famous you got to keep hustling you got to keep working take that as yay like you two noticed it and put me on the suggested page and the home pages and whatever like that's awesome you have a better chance now of getting those viral videos for sure but you're not gonna be famous off one viral video unless you are just a unicorn let me know DM me how did you do it um, but the reality is you probably are not gonna be famous off one viral video so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some boost of confidence and inspiration to either start your YouTube channel or really put your time and effort and focus into your channel and make it the best it can be. I'm still learning. I'm still a small influencer and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but somehow some people look to me as inspiration and I absolutely love that. Um, I feel very grateful, like I said, for the people that reach out to me. I did mention this in the beginning of my video that I do offer customized media kits and brand pitches. So DM me over on Instagram if you wanna talk about my prices and how that works out. But I can tell you right now, um, I've had really, really good feedback from people that have bought them from me and they really like them. And yeah, so let me know, DM me over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. We've been walking down this road,